Ponder this. A world neighboring our own Mars might not be as desolate as we think. In the vastness of the cosmos, the Red Planet has long been a beacon of curiosity, a silent enigma that has stirred the imagination of humanity for centuries. The question of life on Mars has captivated us, from philosophers to scientists and continues to do so today. Now let's take a mental voyage to the Jezero Crater, a site of particular interest on this distant world. Picture a time billions of years ago when Mars might not have been so different from Earth. A time when this crater was possibly brimming with the essence of life, water. Yes, scientists believe that the Jezero Crater spanning nearly 30 miles was once an ancient lake fed by rivers that sculpted its delta. This lake, if it existed, would have been a thriving ecosystem, a haven for life as we know it. In its depths and along its shores, microbial life could have flourished, leaving behind imprints of their existence. These imprints, or biosignatures, could be the key to unlocking the age-old mystery. Was there ever life on Mars? But how could we possibly find these biosignatures hidden in the Martian soil? We can't just take a shovel and start digging. We need eyes and ears on Mars, tools and technology that can withstand the harsh Martian environment and a relentless spirit of exploration. That's where our intrepid robotic explorer comes into play. The quest to solve this enigma led to the launch of a mission unlike any other, the Perseverance rover. A mission designed to seek signs of ancient life, to collect and store samples of Martian rock and soil that could one day be returned to Earth for study. The Jezero Crater, with its potential to hold signs of past life, is the rover's prime hunting ground. And so, our journey to unravel the enigma of life on Mars begins. A journey that will take us to the depths of an ancient lake bed, into the heart of a world that might not be as barren as we once thought. On a historic day, February 18, 2021, NASA's Perseverance rover embarked on a journey to the Red Planet. This was no ordinary voyage. The Perseverance rover, a state-of-the-art robotic astrobiologist, was tasked with a mission of paramount significance. Its objective? To seek signs of ancient life on Mars and collect samples of rock and regolith. That's broken rock and soil to you and me for potential return to Earth. The launch was a spectacle of human achievement. A powerful Atlas V rocket roared into the sky, carrying Perseverance on the first leg of its epic journey. As the fiery plume faded into the distance, the mission was underway. A journey of some 200 million miles had begun. Perseverance's journey to Mars was a marvel of modern engineering. The rover had to withstand the rigors of space travel, from intense radiation to the vacuum of space, all while maintaining its delicate scientific instruments in pristine condition. It was a testament to the ingenuity and dedication of the scientists and engineers who had poured their hearts and souls into this mission. As the rover traveled through the vastness of space it was constantly monitored and guided by teams back on Earth. This was a journey of precision, a cosmic ballet choreographed with the utmost care to ensure the rover's safe arrival at Mars. The rover's mission was not just about the destination but also, the journey. Perseverance was equipped with an array of scientific instruments to gather data along the way, contributing to our understanding of the space between Earth and Mars. After a journey of seven months the rover faced its most challenging phase yet, Mars's atmosphere. The descent was perilous, a seven-minute plunge through the Martian atmosphere known as the Seven Minutes of Terror. But Perseverance lived up to its name, surviving the descent and landing safely on the Martian surface. After a seven-month voyage Perseverance finally arrived at its destination, the Jezero Crater. And thus a new chapter in the search for alien life on Mars was set to begin. The Jezero Crater, a place of intrigue, potential, and the focus of our search for life on Mars. Imagine a lake, a bustling hub of life, but this isn't any ordinary lake. We're talking about an ancient lake that may have existed billions of years ago on Mars, right at the heart of the Jezero Crater. The scientists studying Mars believe that this crater might hold the key to unraveling the enigma of Martian life. Enter NASA's Perseverance rover, a remarkable machine equipped with an array of tools to probe and explore the Martian surface. Of these, one of the most crucial is the SuperCam. This isn't your run-of-the-mill camera, no sir. The SuperCam uses lasers to study the Martian surface, zapping the rocks and studying the vaporized material to understand its composition. But why are we so interested in Martian rocks, you ask? Well these rocks aren't just any rocks, they could potentially hold microbial fossils, remnants of past life on Mars. The rover's mission isn't just to observe but to collect. Perseverance drills into the Martian surface taking samples of these rocks, carefully storing them for future analysis. 
The significance of these rock samples cannot be overstated. Think of them as time capsules, holding within them the secrets of Mars's past. The discovery of microbial fossils would be groundbreaking, providing us with tangible evidence of life beyond Earth. But it's not just about picking up rocks willy-nilly. The selection process is meticulous and methodical. Every rock is a potential goldmine of information, and the rover's team must ensure that they choose the right ones. The rover studies the rocks, sends data back to Earth, and scientists then decide which samples to collect based on this information. So as we delve deeper into the Jezero crater, every rock turned, every sample collected, brings us one step closer to potentially answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? The clues to the Martian puzzle lie in these rocks, waiting to be deciphered. Billions of years in the making, the tale of Earth and Mars is a tale of shared materials and possibly shared life. The elements that compose these two celestial bodies have been swapping places for eons, like cosmic pen pals trading letters. Over the course of billions of years, Earth and Mars have been engaged in a grand cosmic dance, a dance that has seen rocks and dust exchanged between the two planets. This celestial exchange program occurred through a process known as impact ejection, where massive space objects strike a planet's surface, causing pieces of it to be flung into space. Some of these pieces eventually find their way to another planet, bringing with them the potential for life. But you may wonder, can life survive the harsh journey through space? Well, it's plausible. Some extremophiles, organisms that thrive in extreme conditions, have demonstrated an incredible resilience to the rigors of space travel. These robust life forms can endure radiation, freezing temperatures, and a lack of oxygen, making them the perfect candidates for interplanetary hitchhikers. Now consider this, what if, billions of years ago, a rock bearing these hardy organisms was ejected from Earth and made its way to Mars? Over time these organisms could have adapted to Martian conditions, giving rise to a unique form of life. This idea, known as panspermia, is not a new one. It's been contemplated by scientists and philosophers alike for centuries. However, it's only now, with our advanced technology and understanding of biology, that we are able to seriously explore this possibility. NASA's Perseverance rover armed with its SuperCam and a team of over a thousand researchers worldwide is on a mission to uncover the truth. The rover's task is to study the Martian surface, collect rock samples, and search for signs of past microbial life. The discovery of such life could validate the theory of panspermia and reshape our understanding of life in the universe. The discovery of life on Mars could mean that we are not alone in the universe. It's a thrilling prospect, one that could change our perspective on life, the universe, and our place within it. Deep beneath the surface of our own planet, a revelation awaits. Here, in the heart of Earth, over a thousand researchers have unearthed something truly extraordinary. Robust life forms, thriving in conditions once thought to be uninhabitable. These life forms, surviving against all odds, hint at the boundless resilience of life itself. This discovery wasn't made overnight, it was the result of years of meticulous drilling deep into the Earth's crust. What the researchers found were microorganisms that have adapted to survive in extreme heat, high pressure, and without sunlight. These conditions, harsh and unforgiving to most known life, are home to these hardy creatures. This revelation has far-reaching implications. It suggests that life, once it takes hold, can adapt and evolve to survive even in the most extreme conditions. It's a testament to life's tenacity, its will to endure regardless of the challenges it faces. Now, let's take this understanding and cast our gaze towards the red planet, Mars. The Martian surface, with its thin atmosphere and intense radiation, may seem inhospitable. But remember, life on Earth has shown us that it can adapt to even the most severe environments. The Jezero Crater, where the Perseverance rover is currently exploring was once the site of an ancient lake. Researchers speculate that Mars, like Earth, may have subterranean pockets where life could potentially shelter, shielded from the harsh surface conditions. After all, if life can thrive deep within our planet, under conditions as extreme as those on Mars, why couldn't it exist there too? Scientists are still studying the rock samples collected by Perseverance, searching for signs of past microbial life. Each sample holds the potential to rewrite our understanding of life's capacity to adapt and survive. If life can endure the harsh conditions beneath our feet, Who's to say it couldn't also exist on Mars? As we delve deeper into our universe, we should always remember the resilience of life and its remarkable ability to persist against all odds.